Grace White is live in Floresville to show us the problems they are facing despite all of that money coming in from the oil and gas industry. Grace. Well, here's what's happening, guys. New construction and hotels like this one are popping up all over town. More people and more money are coming to this city, but the city is suffering financially, and a lot of people are worried if they don't clean up their act, projects like this and new jobs and growth for the area will disappear. It's growth cities across South Texas are seeing. I'd say more traffic. Thanks to the oil and gas boom. We see new people moving in all the time. I hope that it thrives because uh, I, I feel that it's come a long way. In Floresville, there is that growth, but the city is also running into a big problem. For all practical purposes, the city's broke. In a report released by the city auditor, the general fund deficit in 2011 was around 166,000. This year, that deficit now sits at about 355,000. The report says the problems stem from lack of monitoring from city leaders. Jim Miller is a councilman who sits on the audit committee. The city spent well over what had been budgeted in legal and professional fees. Accountants, engineers, lawyers. Now at a time when most expect their city to be seen green, Floresville is seeing red. Some worry about how the city will continue to pay its debt on the new Civic Center and attract new business and jobs at the same time. We have so much um, prospective business that could come to our area. And we want to we want to sustain that. We want to keep that momentum going. But this is a this is really a dark mark on our on our city government right now. City Council is meeting tomorrow night at seven to discuss this audit report. Also on the council agenda, Councilman Jim Miller is calling for the resignation of the city manager who oversees all of these finances. We did talk to the city manager tonight, as well as the mayor. Both declined comment until after tomorrow night's meeting. We're live in Floresville. Grace White, Fox News at nine.